Hi viewers, welcome back to Sahara TV. My name is Adiola Fayon. Now this is a segment where we like to spotlight someone that has been doing something really, really fishy on YouTube. <laughs> She's known as Lolita, AKA Niger Runs Girl. I'm sure you've all seen her video. If not, we'll play a little bit for you later on. But her real name is actually Molly Balogo and she lives in London. She's a Nigerian. Uh, Molly, welcome to Sahara TV. Hi, thanks for having me. How are you today? I'm fine, thank Ooh, you. I like the I like the eyebrows, you know. Oh, thank you, you know, that's the signature now. <laughs> okay, so like I promised you viewers, in case you're yet to see one of Molly's videos on YouTube, we're gonna play a little bit for you right now and then you will understand why uh, we're doing this interview. Africa, Africa, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. I'm a fool. All these years, I've been doing independent woman. I've been buying my own clothes, paying for my own hair, paying for my own nails, buying my own car. Well, I don't have a car, but if I have car, let me go buy it myself. Paying my own rent. All this money I've wasted on myself, buying things for myself. It's not my fault, because nobody told me. Nobody told me that there's a way to get all these things without dipping into my own pockets. I've been waking up early, going to work, but I've been a fool. I'm not going to allow you to suffer how me I've suffered all these years working. I will teach you how to become a runs girl, Niger style. The bigger and the thicker the eyebrow, the better. So when you are walking to people, they see your eyebrow first and then they see the rest of your face. So for the makeup, we're going to mix black, we're going to put green, we're going to put blue, we're going to put orange, maybe even some pink. The reason you want your eyelash to look like broom is so that you are sweeping the men off their feet. And you see, there's logic to everything. And there is the Ron's Girl makeup. <laughs> that was quite funny. Um, Molly, are yeah. you there? Yeah. So we just played a little bit of your video where you were talking about how to be a Niger <laughs> Runs girl. So let's start from that, Niger Runs girl. Can you define exactly what that means in case anyone out there <laughs> doesn't know what you're talking about? <laughs> I, I think, I don't think there's one particular definition of a Niger Runs girl. But I mean, my view of it is just, you know, girls who use men for their money. That would be the main, main part of it. Okay. How they go about that, you know, is up to them, I guess. There are different ways of getting <laughs> the money out of the guy, but that's their okay. main interest in the guy. So, is, so is we're, we're coming to talk about this interesting philosophy of how to get whatever you want from a guy. But first of <laughs> all, tell us a little bit about yourself. Your real name is actually, Lolita is like your, your stage name, so to say, your name on YouTube. Yeah. But your real name is actually Molly Balogun. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and, you know? Um, well, I'm from Ibadan, Nigeria. Um, born and raised there like half my life and I'm half English and half Nigerian so that's why I'm in England as well so I've lived here the second half of my life and I'm a makeup artist um, hair extension technician um, I'm, I'm an artist as well I like to draw and paint so yeah just all-around creative so I you're a hair extension expert is that what you said um, technician, yeah. Technician, Not I see. <laughs> yeah. So that explains, you know, the, the little part of the video where you were talking about having different kinds of oh, hair yeah. on your I, hair. I love, I love my Italian, hair <laughs> Indian. Anyway, um, so Lolita, since you're an artist and a uh, makeup artist and all that, what led to creating these videos on YouTube? You have quite a number of them on YouTube, by the way. It's not just that one. It's like a lot of it on YouTube. What yeah. led to creating these videos? Well, I, I did want to start like a year ago. I wanted to start putting up, you know, makeup tutorials of different makeup looks and hairstyles. Um, but I never got around to it. And this time around, um, you know, I thought, okay, before this year begins, I was going to start it. And the way Lolita came about is because, um, you know, as a makeup artist, money comes and goes. So sometimes you might get a lot of jobs in a month and you make a lot of money. Some months you might not have that much work. So I was a bit resentful because I was like, I was on holiday and I was going to come back to London and have to start looking for work again. 
And I was like, you know, there's some girls who they've never worked in their life. I've been working all my life and I'll never have as much money as them. So that's how, you know, Lolita came about. So I decided to record my madness because I was like, you know, how do these runs girls do it? They manage not to work and they have more money than me. So that's how it came about. <laughs> You're talking about actual runs girls, right? Yeah. But but you are not a runs girl. like. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I, God didn't bless me with the talent of using men for money, you know. Are you, say, are you saying that you don't practice all these tutorials that you give people on YouTube, Lolita? My boyfriend, I have a boyfriend. My boyfriend would kill me if I did. <laughs> so you're not going after the, the big pot belly guys that you, you no, told us about? No, I, I mean, my dad has a pot belly, so I, I don't... I don't like older guys. Like five years old is about as old as I can do. So wow. <laughs> that's my main thing. Wow. D describe your boyfriend. Is it does he have like six packs, you know, and muzzles? Because you told us in one of your videos, by the way, that if we see a guy that has muzzles or six packs, that we should run away from him. That he probably yeah, doesn't that... have any money. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a six pack. <laughs> so he um yeah, so he's he's in between, you know. So he, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't pay like, I don't like vain guys. I don't like guys that would rather spend time in the gym than spend time with me, you know? Ah. So he's not he's not like that at all. So you, know? you don't he's want him very to... Very intelligent. You don't want him to have six packs, I see. He can have it if he wakes up with it, but I wouldn't want to be neglected, you know? Like... It doesn't mean that he's neglecting you, though. You can both go together. Anyway, let, let's go back to what we were talking about. So now that you've started this video, and, you know, a lot of people are watching it, and the one that we played recently has more than 100,000 views. Did you ever think that it would get to that point where a lot of people, thousands of people would be watching it? No, not at all. It was ridiculous because I remember getting, like, the first 100 views, and I just thought if all my friends on Facebook watch it, that would be enough. And when I got the first hundred, I was so happy. And then I think a few days later, it just went overnight and there were like 10,000 views. And I was I was so excited. It was like I won the lottery. So 100,000 is ridiculous to me. Like, I, I can't believe it. And people seem to really like it. Okay. So, yeah. so, so are you going to make a career of this now that people like what you do? Are you going to make a career of this? I mean, I think, I mean, I think Lolita is fun, you know, but... I also want to I also want to have a message behind it. So, you know, my thing is I want to break down the taboo because the society in Nigeria, there is corruption and there are reasons that lead to women practicing, you know, runs, being runs girls. So it's not just as simple as, oh, some girls just don't want to work. So I want to break down the taboo with comedy, but then I do want to at some point get to, you know, get to the root level and try and sort it out you know so that some girls don't have to go into runs if they don't want to like over here you have gold diggers but not every girl has to be a gold digger you know and it doesn't have to be oh you have to be really really strug you know really struggle hard and you know have really high morals to or be a runs girl they can be a middle ground yeah but lolita this message that you're saying you're, you're hoping to pass across is not exactly what we're getting right now what what is your message right now from these videos well, I think she is passing it on because people are laughing at her. So Lolita thinks she's so cool and she's got it all figured out, but people are making fun of her. And that already, but they're also warming up to her and they're liking her. So that already it is passing on a message that, you know, when you're just all about your looks and, you know, you're not using your brain, people will make fun of you. So it is showing how ridiculous it's getting now. You know, and so I think it is doing that and it's passing on the message, you know, that well hopefully i hope to pass on a message that you know girls can do other things and that's not the only way to get money um especially with the new generation now everyone just wants money they don't want to work for it they don't want to have to do much for it so so you, you brought up a point quickly and i wanted you to see a little bit more about it why are some what are some of the reasons why some women will go into doing runs okay well the way i see it is um in i mean whenever i go on holiday to nigeria i will get you know, chatted up by some old guy with lots of money. And that is his thing he's throwing at me. He's saying, I mean, someone's even told me before, oh, do you know who I am? You know, when I turned him down, he was like, oh, I own half of Lagos. And I'm thinking, if I was a poor girl and, you know, I've got, you know, I've got my fees to pay, I've, I want to help my family, and a man is coming to me and literally throwing money at me, I might be tempted to sleep with him to get some money if I can't see any other way. Hmm. So, you know, that's, 
you know, I think there are different ways that girls get into it. Yes, some just want money, but others, I think they feel they don't have a choice. Or maybe in school, you know, their professor might ask them for some sexual favors in order to pass them. Maybe when they go for work job interviews, you know, the guy, if they're attractive, the guy might say, okay, well, you do something for me, then, you know, I'll give you a job. So I think I think there are a lot of different factors that play into, you so, know. So what is the way out? Like, how do we, how can ladies like that have another choice so that they don't have to go into do you have things that you would well, recommend because it's still happening even as we speak in Nigeria. i know it is still happening i think the first thing would be for men who do that who's i think we need to recognize sexual harassment in nigeria and i think you know maybe having something in place where these men will be reprimanded for sexually harassing young women you know for for you know it's kind of like a threat you know if you don't sleep with me i won't give you a job i won't pass your exam So maybe if there's an authority that, you know, would, will punish these men if they do sexually harass a woman, then maybe less men, you know, will be doing it. And the women might feel a bit more confident. So, so are you going to do a show about how to say no to... <laughs> uh... I mean, and, well, I don't, think, I, I don't think there has to be a show of how to say no. I think, I think ultimately we all know how to say no, but it's like, if you say no, what are the other options? I think that's what I'm trying to get at. You know, if if she knows that if the woman knows that, okay, there's a there's a union back in her, you know, or that she can, you know, I, I don't think it's about oh knowing how to say no. It's just knowing that someone has your back when you do say no. I see. So, um, Lolita, tell us some of the people's reactions, like your family members. What do they think about this videos that you're doing or some of your friends? Yeah, I mean, well, all my family and friends, obviously, they know me very well and they just think it, it's hilarious. Um, my mom loves it. My friends all love it. And I mean, I'm a I'm a joker. I'm a goofball. I'm always always joking yeah. about with my friends. So it they weren't surprised. Um, they just yeah they all think it's wonderful. They think it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so no one has ever said Lolita, why are you doing this? Or are you you're promoting something that is not right? Like nobody ever said that to you that you're teaching I mean, people wrong morals. You know. Yeah. I mean that would be that would be strangers. Um, You know, I did have someone, you know, say to me, oh, you know, is this something you're going to regret in 10 years time? And I was like, I didn't release a porn video, you know, <laughs> and there's some people who did. And there's, you know, they're at the top right now. You know, it's like I released comedy, it's satire. <laughs> it's not to be taken literally. There's like, I, I'm not one for regrets anyway, but I don't think it's anything to regret in comedy. So, okay, no, so it's just so... strange, really, that to say stuff like that. All right. So, so my last question, because I know we're running out of time, is what can you say to ladies out there who feel like they have no other choice than to be Ron's girls to make it in life? Well, you know, I, I don't want to... I don't think it's my place to, to tell them what to do because, like I said, I, I'm, I haven't got a system in place to support them otherwise. You know, it's like going to an abortion bank and telling the women, don't get abortions then you can't support this woman when she does have the baby. So I don't think it's my place right now to tell women what to do. But hopefully one day I will be able to tell them, don't do this, come here, I can help you do this instead. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay, so Lolita, can I get a makeover? Like, you know, my eyebrows, I think it's a little of course too small. Can. Of course you can. Like, you know, the first thing is just, you know, make everything to clash, you know? So that when people watch me, they see the eyebrows first, and then they maybe need, later they, they can see first. me. Yes, they need to see it first. I don't know why you're showing your face. Show your eyebrow, you know? Oh. Have, some, have some bright lipstick. Don't be scared. And, you know, whenever you want to make over, let me know. I'll come and make you over. Okay, <laughs> all the way from London. Watch out, guys. I'm getting a makeover. <laughs> all right, Lolita. Thanks for okay. coming on our show Thank today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, viewers, that has been Molly Balogun. And, AKA, I mean, she's actually known as Lolita, a.k.a. Niger Runs Girls. Uh, Nigerians girl you can find our videos on YouTube just type in Nigerians girl or Lolita aka Nigerians girl and you will find a lot of the videos that she has done and as you can hear she's saying that as you heard her she's saying she's not promoting uh, being promiscuous but she's actually trying to highlight a problem that we have in Nigeria because of corruption that a lot of ladies so to say have to depend on being wrong girls but that she is not promoting that so stay tuned we have more coming up and we will be right back <laughs>